Hello everybody, uh, my name is Joey Romero. I'm here with uh, Reality Technica and basically one of the things that we want to start talking about is basically some of the processes that we go through when basically we're manufacturing the equipment that you guys are using every single day. Specifically right now what we're looking at is our new Micron line of accessories and basically what I want to do is walk you through some of uh, what we're doing right now. Although we're going to be working on a couple different cameras in order to accessorize them with the new Micron line, what we're doing here right now is starting with the two main components. Those two main components happen to be the Micron dovetail and the Micron bridge plate. So what we have here is the actual first stage of the production and manufacture of the Micron dove dovetail. As you can see on the back side, it's, this is a, a standard piece of 6061 uh, billet aluminum. Basically this is your everyday aircraft grade aluminum. What we actually do is set it up so that each CNC machine does its particular process. And what we'll do is we'll do them two up at a time, four up at a time, so that we can maximize the efficiency for that particular machine. Now, what we have here is the start of that particular bill of piece. We actually cut it to size so that we can maximize the amount of efficiency that we get and we can minimize the amount of waste that we get for that particular run. So here you can see is our very first pass. This is pass number one. Pass number two and three is this piece right here. So you can see we already have the profile of the of the dovetail itself. Here you can see it actually actually pretty closely mimics what the Aries standard is. But what we've done is taken that Aries standard and actually reduced it uh, scale wise so that we can keep this as minimal as possible. The FS 700, the Canon C 300, the Canon C 500, the Epic, Scarlet, all these cameras that are coming out that even though the sensor size has stayed the same, going with the Super 35, 4K, 5K sensors, the actual camera itself has gotten so small that it requires us to come up with this new standard. So what we have here right now is one of our CNC machines that's being kitted up for the Micron dovetail. You can see this is the start of him actually extracting the uh, dovetails after the first pass. Uh, the first two have already been removed. Uh, the next two are about to be removed. Inside here you can see these are all the, the actual drill bits itself that are actually used for every step of the process for this particular action. You can see all the different steps that we have to go through uh, for the production of just a single bridge plate. Each one of these machines is set up for a particular pass on the bridge plate itself and basically what I'll do right now is actually walk you through some of those steps. So what we can see right here is a Micron bridge plate that has actually gone through two of those steps already. Uh, this is a stage uh, for the uh, lightweight 15 holes have been already drilled out and this is also before uh, some of the other passes underneath and also the uh, the angle cuts on the back side that's actually happened. This is actually the machine that actually does the uh, 15 millimeter bores on both sides. So right now this is the chamfering stage that it's doing and basically what it's doing is it's taking the hard edge that's on there right now and cutting it a 45 degree chamfer so it's a little softer on the hands. So what we have right here is one of the passes, so drill outs for the mocking mechanism have not been drilled out. On this side here you can see what that pass actually looks like. What he's doing right now is actually uh, preparing it for that next stage. This is the unclean part. Basically, on this stage over here, this is where we can see where we have the nice, clean 45 degree chamfer. Once it goes to this particular stage here, you can see two that are already set up. These are actually already done. They just need to come off the line here. But basically, this gives us a little bit more of what the final pass is going to look like. So what we're looking at right here is the, the, oh, the second to last stage of the cuts that you see here. This is what it looks like before the this final pass comes to on this particular stage. 
again, what we're looking at right here is actually the last stage of the uh, prep for this particular um, Micron bridge plate. The idea here is we're going to get this to a point to where this can go to deburring. It's going to go out to get tumbled. And then the final stage of this is going to be anodization. It's going to be assembled with everything else that uh, we're going to have coming on, such as the half moon, the gearing, the uh, the lever itself, it's going to come out with the locking mechanism, it's going to come with the high hardware itself. But basically what we're looking at, the actual final stage of it, it's going to come to a micron bridge plate that looks pretty close to what you see here in my left hand.